element. Okay? What is the problem? What is the problem? I remove. Then it goes here. This is my front index. Now I want to add. I want to add 20. My array is full. Can I add? Can I add? I cannot add because I can only add from the back. But I have two space here. Rugi right? That's the problem here. Okay? I don't have to shift them, but at the same time, when I remove, I cannot use the empty space. It's wasted. Alright? Now, let's say how to fix this. Use circular array. What is this circular array now? Okay? Right? Array. Same thing. There. Index. Front index will move. Now I want to add 20. Alright? Dynamic. Cannot add anymore. Okay? Circular. Circle back. Now this is my back index. This is my front index. I can add 20. Alright? So I remove to here as my front index, my back index here, I can add. So now this is my back index. You understand? So it goes on circle like this and again and again until it becomes full that is. Alright, got it? You see three different versions? Alright? So this is your fixed index for your front index, huh? fix front. Alright. Weakness, huh? easy to add DQ processor. Problem, not efficient. Okay, this is your dynamic. Alright. Weakness. Right word shifting, the front portion, all empty. Okay? Circular. Now, this is another thing in terms of circular. Circular, it moves, it moves, right? Right, has to move, right? So, dynamically, we have to figure out where is your front index, where is your back index. Okay? In that case, we have to use the formula. Alright? It's moving dynamically. How do I know which is front index, which is back index? Now, assuming if I have number here also. Okay. Where is my front index? Where is my back index? How do I know? Okay? We use the formula. Alright? So we use the formula. We have Modular arithmetic where we take our back index plus one and what is this? Modular. I find the remainder. Okay? So you find the remainder by using the array line. Front index also same. Removing. 
Okay? What happened? Where, where is it ending? Where is the beginning? Alright, so you might have certain things. How to indicate it is full and it is empty. It is full and empty. Yeah? Now, this is my back index. This is my front index. Okay? Full. Alright? Back index full. Because it's already rich here. Now, okay? Now, I have back index. Okay? Back index is here. 22. Alright? And I remove 12. I remove 12. So my front index will be here, correct? I remove 13. My back index, my front index will be here. Okay? I remove 20. What happened? Here. Correct? Now I remove 21. Okay, 21 remove. Imagine this 21, eh? I remove it. Okay? Now, I remove 22. My back index and front index is here. Is this empty or this is empty? Which one is full? Which one is empty? Is both empty or both full? Right here. How to indicate? Alright, that's the only issue you will have with the circular. Alright, so what we do is, alright, we have to make sure that we indicate, alright, we indicate when it's full, when it's not full, empty. Okay, so please go through this, huh? alright, observe that relative position of front index and back index are the same for full and empty. Same. For full and empty, they are same. This is full, this is empty. Same. Okay? Here, full and empty. Alright, can you see that? Your front index and back index. Front index and back index. It's the same. Alright, so what are you going to do? What is the solution to detect when they are full and when they are empty? Okay? Front index is 47, back index 46. Front index is 47, back index is 46. This is full Q, this is empty Q. Alright? Solution? Of course, you can keep track. For array, you can keep track, right? The number of uh, sides, the uh, number of elements. Or you leave one unused space between front index and back index. A full queue detects only one vacant array left, location left. Uh, that means it's full. Okay, if many uh, empty space, then it's empty. Alright, okay? So this is the example they gave. Alright. This is to double it. How you double? Alright, and that's for your cube. Okay? Now, the most important thing is coding here. Understand the concept, huh? Three. Circular got three. Front, fix. Front, dynamic. Front and back is dynamic if you're circular. Alright, circular, you must figure out the front index and back index with formula. Okay? What is the weakness of the front um, fix? Shifting. Right? What is the dynamic problem? Alright? And 
few spaces. Right? What is circular problem? To figure out whether it's empty or it's full. Alright, you got solution for all of it, now. Huh? Alright, can? Alright, now we are done. Okay. Now very quickly, sample. Now iterator, I will continue next class for time. Okay. Okay. Next class I'll continue with iterator. Now important area chapter four for exams. Okay. Array implementation, your ADT collection, three collection, list, stack, and queue. How to implement this collection using array implementation? Array uses index. All right? For list, for stack, and for queue. How you keep track of your index. Okay, very important. Q, you must make sure circular Q formula is there. Just remember the formula. Alright? Now, of course, during revision, I'll tell you what are the areas you have to concentrate. For time being, do the work, the coding and learning for your assignment. Alright? Then, of course, you have to bring this up for your work life as well. Alright? You must make sure which is the best to use okay, for your application. All right, any question? Any question? All right, no question? Attendance?